Collins on first in the bottom of the first. Donovan Osborne thinks he has him picked off, but Gary Gaetti overthrows second. Owens would take third. And then the throw home, never seen by Tom Pagnazzi, so Owens scores. Stolen base, E3, E2, Reds up 1-0. Top of the fourth, cards down two zip now with a man on. Ray Langford at the plate, finds the gap in right center for an RBI triple to score Royce Clayton. The cards cut the lead at 2-1. Bottom of the sixth, Reds up 3-2, threatening to score with a base loaded and two out. Thomas Howard to right center, there's Langford. Full extension in the outfield, and never even have to hit the turf. Top of the seventh, cards tie the game at three. First and third, nobody out. Gary Gaeta, grounder, Barry Larkin, usually sure-handed, can't field it. Scores Willie McGee, it was scored as a hit, by the way. Dennis Eckersley trying to close it out. Eric Anthony, pinch hitter, leadoff home run to right. Now it's a 5-3 game. Next batter, Ed Talbensey, hard line to the John Mabry, one down. Next batter, Willie Green. He, too, lines it to first. Mabry there again to make the play. And Eckersley would strike out Brett Boone for the last out. Games. Bottom one, Eric Young. Boom, yeah! Sixth homer of the year. This guy's hitting 352. One zip rocks. Bottom two. Five time gold glover Barry Bonds on defense. Five time gold glover. Jeff Reed sends one. Barry images every. Oh, see what, what ha happened? It I don't know. His third error of the year. Watch it again. Oh, no. 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 Oh, that's embarrassing. Barry not happy about that. Not happy about being one for four at the plate. Not happy we showed the highlight. Top four, 3 1 rocks. Walt Weiss blew up on this play. Dave Pelletier shoots it to short. Weiss comes up huge. How does he make the play? Wicked throw to gun him out. Take another look. Weiss hitting 312 himself. Off balance, gets the throw. Watch Big Cat Andres Galarraga. Dies but keeps his foot on the back, folks. That's one of the best plays you will ever see in baseball. Bottom eight, two on. Last chance for the Rocks to score seven runs and make history. But Mark Dewey schools Quentin McCracken. Wins 25th K of the year still, though. Rocks win it. Final 5-3, so they don't break the 38 rankers, 38 Yankees record. They're Ski Henderson, grounder. Eric Karras turns into Bill Buckner. Only the Dodgers' first error of the game. Sequence is as bad a defensive sequence as you would see in a Sandlot game. Ramon 6-1 Padres. Fourth inning, Wally Joyner facing Martinez. Joyner sends a chopper to first. Karras throws to Martinez. Hey, Ramon! Ramon himself had two errors in the game. Philly and Caminiti's come in. Padres going to win it. Bottom five, down one nothing. Freeze frame on Terry Pendleton, and TP doesn't much like the call, and he tells Ed Rapuano that he doesn't. So after a brief discussion, Ed will tell Terry to go away. Pendleton does, and he comes out, and he has some issues. Joe Orsolak also got tossed down from across the way, a five-minute delay, and Doug Grayback probably wishes somebody had tossed him out because his first pitch taken out by Charles Johnson, his 10th, 2-0 Marlins. Astros come back to tie it. Todd Jones now pitching bottom of the ninth. Walks Greg Colbrum with one out. With two out, Charlie Johnson comes to the plate and he walks. Runners on first and second. The Hawk pinch hitting. That's not what you want. Base is now juiced, so a 3 2 pitch to Kilvio Veras. Got to make him hit his way on. The walk forces in the winning run, and the Marlins take it 3 2 in the nuts. Hitting 406 for his career against Abbott. Here's why. Doubles to left. One 17th double of the year. It extends his hitting streak to 18 games. Longest current streak in baseball. Four batters later, two on, two out. Dave Valley brings the noise. He doubles down the left field line. Juan Gonzalez scores. Rene Gonzalez scores. Rene on his giddy up. Scores all the way from first. Valley's 10th RBI this year, two zip Rangers. Bottom three, two on Rangers. Rusty Greer hitting 324. What's this triple double? We've seen two doubles. Here's your third to left. Damon Buford scores from first base. Greer also had his ninth home win in the game. 3 1 Rangers. Darren Oliver seeking his eighth win of the year. Darren Erstad, a big old mighty nothing. Oliver, seven in his pitch. He struck out five. Rangers win it 6 2. Rusty Greer was the truth. Three hits and he scored third. No score. Jory Core. And on first, break him off something proper, Andy Alex Rodriguez. Breaks off home run number 20. That was off Bobby Schwinnard. Rodriguez, three for four. The kid's hitting 345. 
Mark McGuire, bottom five, just rocks Sterling Hitchcock's world. Home run number 31 for Big Red. Ties Brady Anderson for the big league lead. 6-4 A's, they never look back. Bottom six, bases loaded. Rafael Carmona pitching for the Mariners. Mike Bordick single scores. Terry Steinbeck. Bordick, 32 RBI this year, 7-4 A's. Damon Mashore strokes a single to left, scoring Jason Jambi. He had two RBI in the game. Rafael Bornegal, a born again experience 9 for a Scott Brocious just blew up. Lines to center for a single scoring Mike Bordick and Damon Mashore. Brocious had four hits, three RBI. A's win at 12 5. Nearing, nearing Mojo, opposite field, three run homer into the bullpen. 15th of the year, he's got 50 RBI, three love Boston. Top two Yankees battle back off Roger Clemens. Ninth batter, Matt Howard. He came in and hitting 154. And what's your point? <laughs> RBI single, Girardi scores. Next batter, Derek Jeter. Rips one down the right field line. Kicks up chalk in the outfield. Bounces into the stands. Jeter, 41 ribs this year. Next up, Bernie Williams. His grounder up the middle. Knocked down by Jeff Fry, but no play. Another run scores. Five straight hits for the Yankees. Kevin Mitchell. Just activated before the game. Hammers one deep to center field, but at Fenway Park, it's a 420-foot out. Mitchell 0 for 4 in his return. 4-4 in the fifth, one on for Daryl Strawberry. Strawman representing to center, just to the left of Mitchell's shot. This one off the wall for an RBI double. O'Neill scores, Strawman six RBI in five games, 5-4 five, Yankees. Look at big Jose Canseco. That was full of sound, fury, and humor, and it signified nothing. Jimmy Keys, ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Albert rides Chris Haney out, 31st homer of the year, career number 225. Two zip Indians. Top four, Eddie Murray There's Manny Ramirez. with two men on. Base jack up the middle. Bell and Manny Ramirez score. Murray, four RBI for the game. 4-1 Indians. Top nine, tribe lead, 7-4. Eddie Murray facing Julio Valera, getting his freak on again. Doubles down the right field line. Omar Vizquel and Bell score. Eddie's ninth double of the year. Indians would go ahead 9-4. They'd win it. 10 to 4. Albert Bell moves into the Major League home run lead. for top one, Robin Ventura the with the liner pitch. up the middle, but Pat Mears yeah, says, I don't eight. think so. Mears making up for an 0 for 3 day. Tony Phillips held it third. Wilson Alvarez was all of that. Just abuses Dave Hollins. Hollins K twice. Major League leading hitter Chuck Knobloch, 372. Oh, that was ill. And Jeff Rebelay goes down on some change in fun. Career high 12 Ks for Alvarez. 2 2 game, top six. Harold Baines, peace, launches a two-run homer to center of Brad Radke. 16th home run of the year for Baines on the year. 4-2 Sox. Sox pouring it on. Robin Ventura just as cool as the other side of the pillow. Three-run shot into the right field upper deck. Second of the game. 14th career multi-homer game of his career. Shy Sox scored five. Hammy, scoreless in the fourth. F.P. Santangelo against Glavin. Rondell White on third, and you didn't have to squeeze it, but you did, but you did, but you did, and I thank you. White just off the DL, and look at that terrific slide to avoid the tag from Javi Lopez. Jeff Becerro threw seven shutout, but the bullpen lets him down. McGriff, a liner, and Mel Rojas sees it go off Mike Grezelanik's glove, and the next batter, Javi Lopez, smokes one to left center, two-run double, RBIs 44 and 45 for Javi, and the Braves have a 2-1 lead, but the Expos would tie it in the top of the ninth. Bottom nine now, 2-1 for Mark Lemke. Tim Scott, brain cramp, lets the bunt roll, and the bases are loaded, nobody out, so they bring five infielders, and against Chipper Jones, ball game. Dwight Smith, who led off the inning with a pinch double, scores the winner, and on Chipper's 73rd RBI of the year, Braves win it. They're going for two straight, and Cal was at third, and doing it again, getting Alex Gonzalez on the good play. Top second, Jays up 3-0. Gonzalez stealing the throw. Manny Alexander, nobody home. He was supposed to be covering second. Gonzalez keeps running, so Jeff Houston. Houston, hello. Gonzalez, goodbye. Chris Hoyle's great job blocking the plate. Top of the third, still 3-0 Jays. Mike Mussina, a little bit of trouble. A couple of runners on. Ed Spray. Smokes one, his 21st double. RBI 68 and 69. Blue Jays take a 5-0 lead. Meanwhile, Juan Guzman pitching well, and Manny Alexander just keeps getting his britches caught on his own pitch for it. Bunts it, and then the ball hits him. Fair territory, he's out. Guzman 
having no such trouble. He retired the final 12 batters of the game, and the Blue Jays win at 6 0. Top first, no score. Todd Zill. It ain't pretty or hardcore or cool, but it's a bloop single to left. Mickey Morandini scores. Zill's 55th rib of the year, one zip fills. Bottom one, Mets respond. Bernard Gilkey. Yep, yep. Shot to right center. Ricky Otero tries to make a great play, but cannot. Lance Johnson and Jose Vizcaiano score. Otero shaken up. Gilkey second triple of the year. Bottom two, Jose Vizcaiano grounds off the leg of Kurt Schilling. Zill comes up with it. His throw is late. Ordonez scores. 5-3 Mets. Bottom eight, Gilkey again. This is hardcore. As hardcore as the Wu-Tang Clan on steroids. Craig Mack with the hangover. Solo shot. His 17th of the year. Mets win it. 6-3. The Mets as a team get their third straight win. Mark Clark won. Kevin Joma getting wicked. Opposite field off Danny Nagel. Three-run homer, his 30th of the year, best in the National League, game tied at three. Top five, Pirates ahead, 4-3. Mark Johnson hits a huge home run. Dead away center field off Jamie Navarro. Two-run shot, his ninth of the year. Pirates up 6-3. Danny Nagel facing Luis Gonzalez. One runner pass first. Strike three. Luis goes down. His the fifth nothing runners on first and second. Pat Listash drops the bunt. Ryan Williams spikes it. Jesse Levis would score game tied at one. Brewers would take a 2-1 lead, but in the fourth, Big Daddy against Jeff D'Amico. Number 20 for Cecil. Ties the game at two. And it was pretty much downhill for the Tigers from there. Bottom four bases juiced for Greg Vaughn, master of his domain. A four-run homer. Sometimes we like to call him Grand Slams. His 28. And as for Jeff McCurry, that's the look of a man with a 24.30 ERA. Brewers win it 20 to 7. And with his five RBIs, Vaughn. Facing Thomas Perez and Perez with a poke the opposite way. That brings in Otis Nixon. And Toronto had a 10-8 lead, but it was 10-9 Jays in the ninth. Baltimore would fight back. Roberto Alomar. That's a sacrifice fly. That would bring in Luis Polonia. We're tied at 10. Next guy up, Rafael Palmero. The ball would fly off Sandy Martinez's glove. The runners would advance. So you got men on second and third. Cito Gaston says, we better walk Palmero. He did homer earlier in the game. Next up, Bobby Bonilla, the leader in the AL, a nine sacrifice flies. You can make it 10. Brady Anderson on third. He tags up. Here he comes. This one was easy. Anderson in safely, and Baltimore wins it. The second time in three nights, Bobby Bonilla, part of a... Win number 11 against the Dodgers. He lost control in the fourth. The pod's up just 2-1. He walks Raul Mondesi and then walks Mike Blowers on four pitches. Next batter, Todd Hollinsworth, on a 3-1 count. Base hit right field. Mondesi scores the ties this game at two. And then there was a moment of trepidation for the Dodgers. That's Mike Blowers on third. And on the wild pitch, he will sort of pull up hurt his knee, falls down, he would leave the game with a sprained knee. Bottom of the fifth, first batter was Mike Piazza. I have never seen a right-hand hitter do it, and he has done it in the last four years with regularity. He's awesome. Not only does he manage him, but he's, he's like related to him, huh? Well, anyway, that made the score four to two in the top of the eighth. The score now 4-3. Man on first and second, John Flaherty bloops one in to left while he joined his scores. We're tied at four, then in the eighth, Jody Reed with the base hit to right. Mark Newfield scores. Padres come back and win this game by the final of 5-4. to four.